So we had Freescale. Uh, yes. So who are you? My name is Donnie Garcia. I'm a product marketing manager for Freescale Kinetis Mic Controllers. Uh, I've been showing off this uh, demo at Arm TechCon. Uh, it's a, a demo that really showcases our enablement. And it showcases uh, one of our uh, mic controllers, the Kinetis K-Series uh, K70 device. Uh, this device has an integrated uh, display controller unit uh, that uh, supports an RGB, uh, uh, RGB, RGB interface. So uh, K70? Yes. And it's part of the tower system? Okay, so tower is, is our hardware enablement. It's our, our development tool platform. You see here, uh, it's modular. So when you get a tower system, you get uh, uh, a lot of capability. You can switch in and out different types of cards. This is a, a card that supports RF. Uh, we have a, a display uh, uh, on, on this end of the card. And uh, th at the heart of the tower system are the MCU cards. And so this MCU is actually the, the K70 device. And this is a device that has up to one megabyte of flash, 128 kilobytes of SRAM and uh, has uh, a, a lot of memory expansion options. It has uh, DDR, but it also has a NAND flash controller integrated on the device. So is that the information there? Huh. So this is uh, some of the information in regards to the K70. Uh, you know, a, a unique thing about this device is its um, integration in terms of uh, display controller. And so if you had an 8-bit quarter VGA display, you could, uh, in a single chip solution, have enough SRAM uh, and uh, up to one megabyte of flash and uh, an additional up to 52 kilobytes of SRAM to support a, a application all in a single chip. But also, uh, if you needed uh, higher resolution, uh, higher color depth displays uh, with the DRAM controller, which we have integrated on the K70, uh, you can also uh, utilize uh, uh, those features of this device. So it's just this board you're talking about right now, right? This part up here. Yes, that's the K70 MCU board. Uh, the demo I've been showcasing is really a, a demo of our enablements. So uh, we have uh, tools that help people create GUIs. Uh, this, this demo is being run uh, utilizing MQX. The, the software was developed using Processor Expert uh, along with our Code Warrior tools. And so what this demo is doing is uh, a motor control function that uh, is sending RF data. So that's a demo. That's the demo you're doing. Yes. You have other demos on there, or uh, it's really about the enablement and uh, what what the what we can do with our software. And uh, um, you actually have to making this just before. Yes. Yes. Can you do it again? Oh yeah, sure thing. Oh, so that's the that's the yeah, and and we're showing. Oh, I may have uh, disconnected something here. <laughs> yep. There we, there we go, we got a, a, a power... Uh, Up, on, <laughs> Reboot. Alright, All right. so uh, how much does it cost a board like this? Um, the MCU cards are about 50 to $100. Uh, the graphical display card is one of our more expensive cards, it's over $100. Uh, the boards range uh, uh, across, uh, depending on what they're doing. So how many people use tower? Oh, Tower is very popular. Uh, it's used by uh, many of our customers. It's our main development platform uh, for our mic controllers. And so uh, it's, uh, the benefit you get is the modular uh, system. So you, you uh, make a, an investment in a Tower board and you're able to change and add features uh, uh, with the Tower system. So it's been a couple of years or more? Oh, it's been uh, uh, over two years, I would over say. Two years? You know, something like uh, four years about. And which part of this might be older, newer, and still compatible and stuff like that. Okay, probably the the, the original tower system had uh, these uh, these two, down there. These two uh, elevate what we call elevator boards, and this is the way we get the signals across the tower uh, system. That can be upgraded like every year. Oh no, uh, I mean standard, we yeah. have a, a standard that we set, yeah. and and we share with our partners. Uh, we have partners who make tower boards as well. And the processor in here is Cortex M4. M4. Yes, and this one in particular has a floating point unit as well. All right. So what's going to happen in the future? So, uh, you know, future is uh, wide open for my controllers. I would say, uh, uh, you know, the standard, more integration and uh, uh, meeting our customers' needs.